Hey guys, Simcolor here, and today we are going to move on on our Tinder series, and we are going to uh, figure out how we can send a message on our chatting part of the app. So yeah, let's get right into it, and I'm going to grab the database here because I've already implemented the code, so I know it works. And uh, what we are going to do is to create a new child, and that child is going to be called Chat, and in here. Uh, it is going to have one uh, child for each and every single interaction so yeah uh, and the only thing that we gotta do is to any time there is a match we go inside the the other users ID uh, that we match so in this case it is this uh, LV which cor correspond LV whatever th that corresponds to the this uh, the user right here and we are going to create. Uh, whoops! Is that that? Uh, let me refresh the page because it doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Just wait a second. Because sometimes if you leave the page open for too long, it will stop working for some reason. I I haven't figured out yet, but it should be working right now. So yeah. Okay. So now let's go inside there in the matches. We are going to create a child inside here which points to the the chatting child that's right here. And we are going to create this uh this child by using push with, which will give us uh, a unique uh, set of of characters and that uh, this value will be uh, only applied to this match right here and the value is the same in the in this match because they match with each other so this value is the same so to do that let's get it right into the the coding because that way you can understand it better and oops this goes right here okay and let's go inside the main activity so i'm actually going to close all of these up so that um, I'm just going to leave the chat activity because we are going to need it. But for now, we are going to go inside activity, main activity, and go into where we uh, call the matches. So, where is it? It is here. This connects a match. Yeah, this is where we place the matches. So let me just make the text a bit bigger for you guys. Okay, this is good. Uh, okay, so now uh, f the first thing we gotta do is to um, get the um, the unique string, and we do this by saying string key equals to Firebase database dot get instance dot get reference uh, dot child chat. dot push dot get key and this won't create a child inside chat but it will give us the key for that chat so it will only give us uh, this number this, this set of characters right here it won't create it because we aren't setting anything but it is enough for us to place the child right here and here so that we know where we gotta go find the chat uh, messages and where to place them when we send a me message. So we gotta double this up for both of them. Okay. So this is for the user that we matched with, and this is for us, our child, uh, the current user. Better yet. So we gotta go inside matches, the current user ID, and now we gotta just make a new child chat ID in set value is child dot set value key and do the same exact thing for uh, what's below and actually let me just think for a second mm, we actually only need one thing yeah, because that this will override that. Okay, so I'm actually going to take this 
all out because it will automatically <coughs> I'm sorry, they, the, it will create it automatically so we don't have to worry about that so yeah uh, now we got that done, this is being created so we can move on to the chat activity and in here we have to get the uh, match uh, that we are trying to to chat with ID and we already did it in the previous lesson but we aren't getting it here and what I'm talking about is if we go into view holders in here we pass a string uh, in a bundle to the new activity, to the shared activity and now in the shared activity we have to get it uh, some way and the way we do that is by first of all let me create a match ID and I believe we already did this in, our, in this uh, series but it is never uh, too bad to uh, reiterate that. So get intent dot get extras dot get string, and now we just place the key of the match ID of the user that we the the the, the, cur the current user clicked on to chat with. So okay, this is uh, fine. Just uh, notice that this match ID must match exactly with this string. Okay, that's really important. Don't forget that. And I'm just noticing a, an error here. So, current. Okay. So yeah, now we can move on and start grabbing everything that we need. So the first thing that we are going to need is the edit text. and edit text and the button and send button you can call it that and let me just check the layout to see if the IDs are right so activity chat and okay we must put the ID in here, so let's call it message. Doesn't need to be fancy at all. So send and message. In the preview, it is these ones right here. So yeah, let's just go below everything. Say send edit text. Find you by ID or dot ID dot message. And m send button equals to find view by id dot r uh, dot id dot uh, send. And now let's create the set on click listener for the button. So on click listener, and in here we're going to call a function called send message. Okay, so now that that's done and over with, uh, we must obviously get the ID of the, the chat that we are using at the moment. So let's uh, imagine we are this user right here and we are trying to chat with this user because we matched with him. Uh, then we must get this ID, this uh, child's name, so that we can go into this child and place the messages right here and I have a, mess a lot of messages right here and uh, they are going to have the text and the user that sent the text and as you can see we are using the same system that we did to create this child right here so we are going to use push to build a unique uh, ID and uh, yeah this will be all placed in order because when you do push it will always uh, place it below the last one so that we know exactly the order of the messages that were sent so this is a extremely easy way to do this so first of all let's go inside this shell and figure out what this ID is so yeah the first thing that we gotta do is to create a database reference let's just create a global variable right here data 
base reference and let's call it and database user okay so and database user is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child users dot child current user id dot child connections dot child matches dot child match id dot child chat id okay it is uh, quite long but these uh, if you go into your your database you'll figure out that it points to the child right here which is exactly what we need so now let's create a listener to figure out what's that string uh, so yeah let's create another yet another variable another function i'm sorry so private get chat id and database user dot add listener for single value event we don't need a, a value event listener uh, that's always searching for the the child so a single value event is more than enough because it will save you resources that can be valuable and so whenever you can use a single value event it is much easier to control so if data snap snapshot dot exists then chat id equals to data snapshot dot get value dot to string and this will give us the chat id and just to show you it will give us this value right here and let's just create a global variable for this uh, chat id private void forgot that uh, okay so yeah we can actually go ahead and create another database because we'll need it database reference we can just mm, till here and we'll call it database and database chat place it uh, right here okay and then will be child I believe it is chat yeah just that <coughs> and then inside the, where we get the chat ID we can actually just uh, point to the exact chat that we need so chat ID dot uh, m database chat equals to m database chat dot child uh, chat id and in the case that we have in our database it will point to this uh, child right here okay this is exactly where we uh, have to be so it is going well right now let's just place the get chat id because it is the first thing that we gotta do so let's do it right up here so that it can work uh, while it is doing this uh, code right here so that we can move on faster and now let's send a message so the first thing that we gotta do is to figure out what the message is so send message text equals to and send edit text dot get text dot to string semicolon at the end and we say if this isn't an empty so if not send text message text is empty this is just so that the user can't send uh, 
messages that have nothing inside it. And now we are going to create a push so that we can get an unique ID for each and every single message. So, and the reason why I'm doing this and not just placing the, the text is so that we can get a child that has a create by user and a text because if the, uh, the user is the creator, then a different color will appear in the messages that I've shown. It's just to make a distinction between what you sent and what the, the other user sent. So, you say this and database reference, database reference, exactly, new message db equals to and database chat dot push and in here this push will create an, a new um, a new child inside the m database chat and it will be called new mess message db and we don't need to get the key of the push because we are going to put it straight into this database reference so map new message Let's import that new message equals to new hash map. Let me just make it a tiny bit bigger. New hash map and new post. Um, new message, I'm sorry. New message dot put. And the first thing that we are going to place is the created by user and we are going to place the current user uh, ID in here and then we can simply copy and paste that and instead of created by user we say simply say text and send message text as the the argument so yeah now we simply grab the new message db and say set value new message and obviously after that we want to clear up the edit text so we grab and send edit text dot set text to no okay so i believe that's it uh, so let's launch the app and see if everything checks out so the app finished loading so let's uh, make a match here to see if the chat id is created successfully so yeah, and as you can see the chat ID is created. Now let's go into matches for both of them. And this crashed, I don't know why. Okay, that's fine. Now let's go into the chatting app. And as you can see, there is no chat child created yet. But the moment we send a message, it will be created. So. Uh, let's send this text, it doesn't really matter, and as you can see it is created with the user and everything. And now if you send in here, it will create another and another. Okay, so everything is working as it should be with the create a user ID as it should be. So yeah, so that's all for now uh, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. In the next lesson we are going to learn how we can show display the messages in this recycler view that we already did in the previous lesson. So it will be extremely fast and straightforward. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you are having a wonderful time and see you again tomorrow. Ciao!